Let me start with a statistic. Only 7% of organisations manage their workforce effectively. In 2017, how could this be? To understand this, we need to look at the history of workforce management, the impacts on your people and your customers, and digital WFM. I'm Jared McGrath. My topic, WFM, WTF, but more on that later. I'm passionate about people getting the most from their employers and their employers getting the most from their people. WFM started in the 1890s with the invention of the Bundy clock and essentially it recorded start and stop times. Later these start and stop times were fed to payroll to ensure that people, employees, got paid accurately. In the 1970s, the microprocessor was introduced and this enabled automation, scheduling and real-time management. But there was an issue at this point in that education was lacking for supervisors and those in the business to understand really what this meant. Today, there are all types of technologies from wearables, all sorts of functionalities, but there's still an education gap at this point in time. And I think this is part of the reason why the effectiveness is at such a low figure. Practical example, here's Craig, he's a nurse. He uses workforce management to set his availability for work. He uses it to determine what time he has to start work and what location he's going to be at. Here's Michelle, she's a nursing unit manager. She uses workforce management to know where her people are and what they're doing. She can then focus on the important tasks such as quality of care and education of her people. So for me, at this point in time, workforce management is about process efficiency and also about financial understanding. Workforce management is a core operational and management system. So let's look at a statistic. Inspired employees are three times more productive than dissatisfied employees, but yet only one in eight employees are inspired. I'm inspired and that's why I'm standing here today. And I suspect you are standing here today because you want to be inspired. Another example, here's Gillian and her daughter Jane. Jane is having trouble with her mathematics homework and Gillian uses workforce management to request a shift swap so that she can spend time with her daughter Jane. Here's Daniel, he works for Disrupt Retail, he's an operations manager in the store. He knows his staff are in the right place at the right time, so he is able to spend time with his staff talking about purpose, what they need to do, and building culture. What does this mean for your customer? It means that you can personalise the customer experience. You can grow your brand, and you can also grow your brand loyalty. So at this point, the definition of WFM expands even further to provide further clarity to your staff to inspire people and to build brand loyalty. WFM is at the heart of people and customer experience. Ready for another statistic? 85% of companies will invest extensively in artificial intelligence over the next three years, but only 17% are ready to manage a workforce made up of artificial intelligence, robots and people. Remember Jane, who we met earlier on? She is sick today and all that she will do is pick up a telephone and go, I am sick today. There will be no further human intervention required. A suitable shift swap will turn up to fill her shift with the right skills. Robots will become part of the workforce. While they won't have emotions like we do, they will be still needed to be treated like people. If a robot breaks down, just like a person being sick, we'll need to schedule a suitable replacement. Here's a Gen Alpha baby. This is baby Andrew. People are always going to be at the heart of the workforce. Don't get that wrong. But the way in which we treat them, where they work, when they work, we're going to have to take that into consideration. So, if I'd have told you what WTF meant at the start of this talk, would you have had a perception? Similarly, if you had a definition of WFM, would you have also had a perception? And has it now changed? WFM is all about being core to people and people operations. It's about providing great employee experience and great customer experience. It provides a complete business picture. So I'll give you one question to part here with today. Is WFM part of your HR strategy to manage 
your digital workforce effectively. And Jared McGrath, thank you for giving me, giving me the opportunity to disrupt.